Welcome to the Design It 8 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the new thumbnail browser for shaping files. I'm in original pattern drafting right now. I have a child's top that was made originally in standard garment styling section of the program and then brought into original pattern drafting. We've taken these shapes and we've rotated them 90 degrees so that we have sideways knit sweaters and we also have rotated our sleeves 180 degrees so that we're knitting from the shoulder down to the cuff. These two pieces here are pockets and this is the active piece. Let's go up under file and thumbnails and in, in this particular directory I have 12 files. I have my, let's turn the details off for a minute and it's telling me each this is the name of this file is 2004 underscore 259 the name of this file is child top, jacket, Japanese pattern, skirt and top, etc. If I want the details for these, it's telling me for this coat, and for instance, that it's a the name of the file is coat. It's an adult female. The tensions are 30 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. And it was created June 10th, 2011. It's a standard garment styling piece because it has a dark blue background and it's showing you what the garment looks like assembled. This one here also is a standard garment styling piece and you can see that even that the ribbing for the neckline and the ribbing for the waistband. This pattern here is an original pattern drafting piece only. It is a medium blue. This one also is original pattern drafting only. This one here, the child's top that we were looking at a minute ago for the sideways knit, has two pieces here and two pieces here. These are standard garment styling section pieces that were brought into original pattern drafting and modified, and so they're a darker gray than you would get if they were unmodified. These even darker blue pieces are pockets that were created in original pattern drafting only. If we look again at another one, we can see here this is skirt and the top. This is this bodice and this skirt and bodice and the two sleeves. All four of these garment pieces were created in original pattern drafting. This front panel for the skirt and this back panel for the skirt are standard garment styling section pieces because of the coloring. And this yellowish color here means it's been modified in exact stitch layout and is an exact stitch layout piece now. It used to be the other half of this, but now it's exact stitch layout. And in fact, if we we can we can make them bigger and to see better, we can zoom in, zoom out. We can sort them. And our sort options are by by sizes, by piece, by design method, by the date, age groups, and any you can also say search and you can search for a file that's only for babies or only for cardigans if you have a lot of things in your file. Right now everything's selected but you could deselect and pick and choose which ones you want. Okay. So we're going to open up this skirt and top file. Okay. And you can see here the same as what we saw in the preview that this is indeed this is standard garment styling, standard garment styling and these are original pattern drafting and this is exact stitch layout. You can confirm this by saying piece select piece and it gives you a list of the pieces that are in the file. Panel 1 and panel 3 here. Panel 1 is this panel right here and it says SGS for standard garment styling section and that's a standard garment styling section piece. Panel 2 was a standard garment styling section was modified in original pattern drafting and was further modified with an exact stitch layout and that's this piece here. Panel 3 is our standard garment styling section piece. The front left, the front right, and the two sleeves are all originated only in original pattern drafting. They did not start out as, as standard garment styling shapes. They were created entirely in original pattern drafting and those are shown in blue. Anytime you select the piece, then it lightens into white for the active piece. Thank you.